Welcome back to the shop. I'm Andrew and this is Davidson Crafts and today we're going to turn this into this. So for our color pencil project, we're going to be using these color pencils here. And I went ahead and got the ones that are uh, hexagonal so that they all kind of meet up, if I can get them to meet up. So they all meet up a little bit nicer here, and I think that'll give us a much better look and more of what we're looking for for this project. Now, what we're going to be doing is making a yarn bowl with these guys. And what that is, is just a bowl that you can put some yarn in. So when you're using it and as you're pulling more yarn out, that everything stays together in one place. So I've made my wife a couple different yarn bowls. And the one that she likes the very most is one that has a really nice heavy bottom to it. And it stays in place when she pulls it. And so it just, it just works well. So we want to make sure to include space for that in this project. So what we're going to do is use this picture here as our mold and we're going to go ahead and put a waste block down in the bottom then we'll put our color pencils on top and for those color pencils what I'd like to do is go ahead and stick uh, a core of just another wood here in the middle um, and that will allow us to kind of take up some space so that we're not having to use color pencils for that space. So let's go ahead and head over to the lathe and we'll work on our core as well as our waste block and get that all prepped so that we can start putting this together. Okay, for our core, we're gonna be using this piece of sycamore and I've got it here on the lathe and we're gonna go ahead and turn that down to the right size. But because we're already turning that down, we're also gonna use this as our waste block for the end of our piece. So we'll go ahead and get that all turned down and we'll part off the core and then we can get everything put together. All right, that fits nicely. So let's go ahead and start getting our pencils wrapped around our core so that we can get everything put together. We went ahead and got all of our color pencils in place. It definitely took a lot longer to put together than what I thought it was gonna take. Uh, using the hexagonal pencils, does create a nice tighter fit. However, you have to make sure you have the exact amount uh, in order to make sure that everything lines up perfectly so that they can lock in together. Show you what I did here. Um, I went ahead and took some of them and cut them into thirds and lined the bottom uh, section of that. And then our core piece here will slide in to take up that extra room to make sure we're not wasting resin or color pencils. So let's go ahead and move over to the mold, get that prepped and get this thing in there. All right, so I just realized that I didn't take something very important into consideration, and that is the overall depth of the pressure pot. Our mold here is about an inch and a half too tall to fit in the pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the top of this pitcher off uh, so that everything's gonna fit in there nicely, and then we uh, should be good to go. All right, we've got the top of the pitcher all cut off, so our mold is now ready to go and will fit in the pressure pot. We've got our waste block glued down here in the bottom, and then we've got our color pencils and core all centered here. So let's go ahead and start mixing up some resin. All right, now that we've got it in the pressure pot, we'll go ahead and let it sit in there and check that tomorrow. Okay, we've got our color pencils here out of the pressure pot and everything looks pretty good. 
We've got a couple of bubbles, but I think they're all on the outside and our resin is nice and hard. So let's get it out of the mold and get it on the lathe. All right, I like to shape the outside of this piece here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding. I have heard that some people have had some struggles with the color pulling from the color pencils and streaking across the piece. So we'll just have to watch that and, uh, and see how it goes. So let's get to sanding. All right, so I went ahead and tried some sanding here, and of course the sandpaper just grabbed that pigment and pulled it across the rest of the piece. And you can see down here on the bottom a little bit, this is after I've done some cleanup, that there's still some streaks there. So I think the best plan moving forward is just to go ahead and finish out everything and then we'll cover it all in a thin layer of the epoxy resin and that'll fill in some of these layers and keep everything nice and bright and I think will give us a nice finish. So let's go ahead and start hollowing things out. All right, so this was a fun project, but I just have to show you guys this. This is the mat where we normally film things, and it's about eight feet away from my lathe. And it is just covered in pieces of colored pencil. It's, uh, it's a bit ridiculous. This has to be the messiest project I've ever cleaned up from. All right, I went ahead and mixed up some epoxy so we can get it on the piece here. Now this is something I've never done before and so I'm hoping that everything's gonna turn out okay. The plan here is just get some epoxy on then turn on the lathe on its lowest setting which for my lathe is 50 RPMs. And then hopefully with that turning, it'll keep the epoxy where it should be and then we don't get any drips or anything like that. And then we'll get a nice clean finish across the whole piece. So let's go ahead and get that epoxy on here. All right, we've got our first layer of resin on here and it's fully cured. Uh, it cured pretty evenly throughout the piece, which I think is pretty good. However, because we weren't able to sand our colored pencils, there was little pieces of them that were sticking up and that made for a really horrible finish. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is sand that down now so we can get a nice smooth finish and then we'll apply the last coat of resin on top of that and we should be good to go. All right, our second layer of epoxy is fully cured, so let's get this thing parted off.
Well, here it is, guys. Our color pencil yarn bowl is all complete, and I'm pretty happy with how this project turned out. Now, along the way, it definitely didn't go the way that I had expected it, um, but I think we got a cool looking project, and most importantly, my wife is happy with the way that it looks. So our final test here is just to make sure that it actually will work as a yarn bowl. So let's go ahead and stick our yarn in here and pull it out to make sure everything stays in place. And it looks pretty good to me. We'll go ahead and end it here with some close-up shots. If you like this video, let me know by clicking on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to do so for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. when they have a nice heavy body. Blah, blah. So I've made my wife a couple different yarn bowls and she, <laughs> golly. <sighs> and because we're gonna already gonna be turning this, blah, blah. So where we couldn't sand, blah, blah, blah. All right, so that fits nicely. So let's go ahead and shut off the sound on our freaking phone.